Hi, my name is Danielle Dick, and I'm an alcohol researcher at Virginia Commonwealth University. I study why some people can drink socially, but for others, alcohol use can lead to addiction and severe consequences. And we know that part of the reason that people differ in the likelihood of developing problems is in their genes. Our genes predispose us to be more or less at risk for developing problems. And when I talk to parents, they frequently ask me, I wish I could know if my child is going to be one of the ones who's more at risk. And the good news is you can know. We know a lot about what leads people to be more at risk for developing alcohol problems. And this is because there is no hidden gene for developing an alcohol use disorder. Instead, our genes influence the way our brains are wired, which impacts things like how much we like rewards, how much we think through consequences, how impulsive or sensation seeking we are, how prone we are naturally to depression or to anxiety. And these are the ways that our genes can influence are being more or less at risk for developing problems with alcohol. So if you have a child who is impulsive or a sensation seeker who likes to chase the fun, or conversely, if you have a child who is more naturally disposed to depression or to anxiety, then these are characteristics that make kids more at risk for developing an alcohol use disorder. As a parent, there are things that you can do. Talk to your children about alcohol, about expectations, about whether alcohol problems run in your family, or whether they might carry some of this, these risk factors, which mean that they need to be more careful about their alcohol use. In addition, one of the most important things that you can do if you are a parent of an adolescent is monitor them. Know who they're with, where they're going, and what they're doing because kids can't develop problems if they don't have access to alcohol. And the biggest thing that you can do as a parent is limit access. Kids who start drinking later, say 21 and over at the legal drinking age, have drastically lower rates of developing problems than kids who start drinking earlier. For more information, visit edge.vcu.edu.